This is a tutorial on using the Family Child Care Home program-wide PBS benchmarks as quality. When you first open up the spreadsheet, it might ask you if you want to enable macros. If it does, please say yes to enable. Once you do that, then the spreadsheet is ready to go. So you have a few tabs down at the bottom. You should see an instructions tab, BOQ data entry, program summary, and graph. If you don't see these four tabs, it could be that this bar is hiding them. And so you have three little dots right here down at the bottom that you would just hover over until you see that double-sided arrow, hold down your mouse button, the left one, and then you can kind of move that back and forth. And so then that way you can see those four tabs. So the first tab is the instructions tab. And on this tab, you just have some brief instructions. You have the version number, the date it was created. You have my name and email in case you have any questions. You have a small description of the tool. There is a link to the YouTube video, which is this tutorial. And then you have some brief instructions about the data entry. The next tab, if we click on that, is the BOQ data entry. And so here, what you're doing is you're going to first, the first time you use it, you'll type in the program name, the location, and then the team members who are helping to fill out the BOQ. So you would just write their names, then you would enter a date, and then you would enter the score for each one of those BOQs. So it's either a zero that it's not in place, a one that it's partially in place, or a two that it's in place. So you would just go through all of these and you'd enter one, two, or zero until you get down to the very bottom. And this matches the paper form as well. So you have 31 benchmarks. So you would enter that. After you enter your, your scoring or ratings for each one of those, then now you, you're ready to look at data. So the next tab is the program summary tab. And on this program summary tab, the first graph that you have here is a bar chart. And what you're seeing is out of all of the benchmarks, what's the percentage that are not in place? And if you hover over that red part for not in place, you'll see that there's 22% of the benchmarks are not in place. Blue means they're partially in place, and so about 32% of those. And then green means that they are in place, so 22%. And so, you know, at the, your very first time, you might see more red and blue than you will see green. And as time progresses, then you might have um, a larger green bar. Then you have the table that accompanies this graph that has that same information. So it has the date that you entered on the BOQ data entry, and then it gives you that percentage. Then below that, you have a table, and that table here gives you all of those critical elements. So these are the critical elements, and then out of those critical elements, how many of the benchmarks are not in place partially in place or in place. And so you'll see that for the critical element establish and maintain a plan for implementation, the five benchmarks are either partially in place, two of them are partially in place, and three of them are in place. For program expectations, you'll see this in red, that there's four that are not in place, one that's partially in place and one that's in place. So these four that are not in place, if you come over here, so directly across, you'll see exactly what number those are. So you'll see that number 10, number 11, 12, and 13, those are the four benchmarks that are not in place. So that's what these numbers over here mean. These refer to the actual benchmarks. So that way you know that out of, you know, for this critical element, four are not in place, and these are the four. And then over time, again, what you would want to see is that this table here is clear and that you have no red on this side. At the default, it looks like this, where all benchmarks are not in place, and these are all zeros. So here, that this, this is just the default view. There's no data entered for any of these other dates, and that's why it would look like this. And then once you've entered your data, then that's when you'll see changes. The next tab is the graph tab. And so on this graph tab, uh, what you entered over in program name, location, and team member, that automatically gets copied over here. So that'll be copied there. 
And then you have a chart that shows you the critical elements. So it shows you those critical elements. And then it gives you kind of like this average rating. So for establish and maintain a plan for implementation, that average rating is about a 1.6. And then we'll see out of two. And then the next, that next date that the benchmarks were completed, we saw this rise up to 1.8. So we're getting closer to that 2.0. And we see that family engagement has been a 2.0 the first time and to 2.0 the second time. And again, that 2.0 meaning that it's been in place. So here you're able to kind of visually assess kind of where you are as a program and what are the critical elements that you might need to work on. If when you enter data, you don't see the data points here, what you need to do, there's a, there's a little um, note here about refreshing your data. So if you enter data, you come over here, everything is blank. That's what you need to do. You need to refresh. So you just come over here to this, um, <clears throat> to this chart. You can just click on it and then you'll have a new tab that shows up to the chart analyze. And then you just click on that. And then here it says refresh and I use the down arrow and I refresh all. So I just make sure that everything is refreshed. Another way to do this is just to go up to data and click refresh all. And that also refreshes the data. So there's two ways that you can do that. Um, and then you have a little filter here. So this filter here allows you to look at specific dates. So if you only wanted to look at your most recent date, then you would just click here. And then that would show you the chart for your most recent date. If you wanted to see both dates on the chart, then you could on your keyboard, you could hold down the shift key and then click on that other date so that you have both dates. You can also use this multi-select tool. Once you click it, it'll unhighlight it, but then you can click it again and it'll highlight it. So you, it allows you to click um, different things, kind of like a checkbox. So those, you know, you can click on all of your dates. There's also, if you were to clear the filter, it is the default view. So you'll see there's a little bit more room here only because it's taking into account those six points in time. So you'll see this extra little data point here. So we wanna make sure that we don't have any of those blanks. So I would unclick that blank so that it only shows me those two dates in time. If you, you do have that data down here in this table, so it tells you exactly okay, what the average is for those dates. And then it also gives you how many of those benchmarks are not in place, partially in place and in place. So instead of like on the other tab, it gave you a percentage. This gives you an actual number. And so you have that data there. If you wanted to, you can also add labels to this. So you would just click on here and go to this little uh, plus sign for chart elements. And then you can add data labels if you wanted to change the colors. You can do anything like that. And then um, printing, you can also print if you needed to or take the chart and copy it and paste it into a PowerPoint, into a Word document or something else. So that pretty much is this, the workbook. Again, if you have any issues, my name and email is here on the instruction tabs. You can feel free to reach out and I can help you out.